I'm excited to welcome you back to my channel. This is an amazing algebra question, and I would like you to watch to the end and see how we proved that the answer we got is correct. Welcome once more, especially if this is the first time you are coming across this channel. So the question says that f if x plus y is equal to 2 and x multiplied by y is equal to 48, the question says we should find the value of x and y. All right, first, let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2, okay? From equation 1, which says that x plus y is equal to 2. It means that y is 2 minus x, okay? Now, let's call this equation 3. Now, we are going to substitute this into equation 2. Now, from 3 or from 2, we have that x multiplied by y is equal to 48. So that means that x multiplied by, now remember that y is 2 minus x, 2 minus x, this is equal to 48. Now, let's open the bracket. x times 2 is 2x, x times minus x is minus x squared, is equal to 48. All right. Now, let's arrange this very well because this looks like a quadratic equation. But before that, let's bring this in. So, we have 2x minus x squared minus 48 is equal to 0. So, if we arrange this well, we have minus x squared plus 2x minus 48 is equal to 0. Now, let's multiply through by minus 1 because I want to remove this negative sign that we have here. Okay? So, multiplying by minus 1, okay, we have x squared minus 2x plus 48 is equal to 0. All right. Now, this is a quadratic equation that we cannot solve using the quadratic equation from, sorry, using factorization method. So the only option here is to use the quadratic equation formula. And this quadratic equation formula states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Now, our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is minus 2. Our c is our constant, which is 48. So if we should substitute this into this place, we are going to have that x is equal to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 48 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Okay. So, if we solve for that, we have x is equal to, remember that we are not asked to find the value of x alone. We need to also find the value of y as well. So, we are just on to x. From there, we are going to get to y as well. All right. So we have x is equal to minus minus is plus. So we have 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared is 4 multiplied by, sorry, minus 4 multiplied by 48. I had to remove one because it's not relevant. Divided by 2 minus 1, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. I'm so sorry. I don't even know that my video tripped off and I've been talking all this while. So this is where we stopped before the video tripped off. This is divided by 2, right? So let's continue from here. Now, we have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of... Now, they have 4 in common, so pick 1. 
bracket 4 divided by itself is 1 minus when this is divided by 4, 4 and 4 we go and we are left with 48 divided by 2. So x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 uh, multiplied by minus 47 divided by 2. Now I want you to recall that square root of a multiplied by b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b. So that means that x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 47 multiplied by square root of i. Okay, sorry, square root of 1 minus 1, okay multiplied by square root of minus 1. That is because minus 47 is sent as minus 1 multiplied by 47. Now everything divided by 2. So we have that, oh my god, I've actually worked this particular question till the end, like I've solved everything, only for me to go to my career and everything is just as well. So let's continue. So x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2, then square root of 47, and we have i, okay, divided by 2. So our uh, x is equal to 2 over 2, okay, plus or minus 2 root 47 i divided by 2. Therefore, our x is equal to 2, we divide 2, we have 1, plus or minus 2, we divide 2, we have 1. 1 times root 47i is root 47i. Okay. Therefore, we have two values of x, and that means that we have two values of y. I would like you to watch to the end and see how we prove that the answer we got is correct. Okay? All right. So, if x is equal to 1 plus or minus root 47i, then it means that we have two values of x. x1 will be equal to 1 plus root 47i. And x2 will be equal to 1, 1 minus root 47i. Okay? That will be the second one. Now, let us find their corresponding values of y. Now, recall from equation 3 that y is equal to 2 minus x. So, recall that y is 2 minus x. So, it simply means that x, um, y2, or y1, sorry, will be equal to 2 minus x is what? 1 plus root 47i. So if we solve, we have y1 will be 2, minus times 1 is minus 1, minus times plus root 47i will be minus root 47i. So y1 will be equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 minus root 47i. Then similarly, similarly, y2 will be equal to 2 minus x2, which is 1 minus root 47i. So y2 will be equal to 2 minus times 1 is minus 1, minus minus is plus, so we have plus root 47i. So if we solve, we have y2 is 2 minus 1 is 1, so 1 plus root 47i. Therefore, we can write that the values of x and y is equal to, for the first part, we have 1 plus root 47i, 
and one minus root 47 i and another set is 1 minus root 47 i comma 1 plus root 47 i now let us prove that the answer we got is correct and that is the most interesting aspect of this video okay all right now the question says that using equation one and according to equation one it states that x plus y is equal to two now using x1 and x2 we have x is one plus root 47 i okay plus y is one minus root 47 i is this equal to two so plus has no effect on anything in the bracket so we just go ahead and solve it the way it is so if we collect like terms we have one plus one and plus four roots plus four plus root 47 i and minus root 47 i is this equal to two now one plus one is two and this minus this is zero and you can see that two is equal to two and that proves that the first using the first um equation that the answer is correct now let's check if these two equations these two solutions also is is correct let's see if they will give us the solution here the correct answer so we have x y is equal to 48 now let's see if this is true so using the first set we have one plus root 47 i multiplied by one minus root 47 i is this equal to 48 so remember that a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared therefore we can solve this as one squared minus root 47 i squared now is this equal to 48 so we have one squared is one minus now this is same thing as root 47 squared multiplied by i squared is equal to 48 so we have one minus this we remove this we have 47 and i squared is minus one is this equal to 48 so we have one minus minus is plus plus 47 is this equal to 48 so you can see that one plus 47 is 48 and 48 is equal to 48 and that proves that the answer we got is correct thank you so much for watching see you in the next video